All right, so we're here with Stephen Williams. All right, and look, I want you to just kind of tell everybody a little bit about the build, the, like the history behind your, the car and all of that, and why you built it. But well, the car sat in the woods for 15 years. I drug it out. It was a my grandfather car. I used to drive in his lap as a child. He passed, and I wanted to do a memorial build for him. So it's pretty much anything used I can find, I threw it together. Turbo LS build. All right, so what's the what, what's the setup? I mean, whatever you want, you feel free about saying or whatever. It's a S 475 turbo, sloppy stage two crank cam, Gen 4 motor rods, um, turbo 350 trans. Uh, nothing major. I still got the stock rear, stock gear, stock gear. Leaning. You, okay. Gear. And, but you say they got a spool in it, right? They got a spool in it. All right. Okay. Can you pop the hood? We can yes, check sir. it out. It's a, it's a nice car, y'all. Like, look, this this different. Y'all know, love different. Definitely different. Oh, and tell everybody what 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 year and make and model the car is. It's an '86 Pontiac Parisian. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but everybody <laughs> tries to get it wrong. No, but definitely. All right. So look, let's check it out. Okay, now who who did all the fabrication and? Well, my buddy Andrew Wardinger designed the entire car on paper. Right, right. And uh, okay. we ordered everything to his likings. And Kenny Barker, Go Fast Garage, did the fabrication for me. And uh, Andrew Dinger is still tuning the car. Right. Okay. Before before I forget, you got any social media you want want to drop? They can follow you. Where can they find you? Anything? Uh, my name's Stephen Williams. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. And uh, also go follow the Hunter Front and Garage. We do a lot of events down there. Okay. And Lorenzo Martin. Gotcha, gotcha. So y'all, y'all make sure to check them out. Oh, it's a nice car, like I said. Uh, real nice setup. So yeah, we about to check him out and uh, see what he about to do out there. Quick little update. What what happened right there? So put it. Slowing the bed off. Slowing the bed off, y'all. We got the bed down there. All right. Okay, look, we taking we taking back in. Y'all know he's slowing the bed off the first run. So just just tell everybody what you just told me. Put the bed back on. Drove. 
eight miles with 16 total to get another belt and potential. Put it there to try it again. Back in the lane, and I we were just, we were just having a conversation. I asked him, call. I literally I saw him, I saw him drive out the track, y'all. So it ain't lying or nothing. He drove out the track and got him another belt, fixed the car, so it ain't finna try it again. So we're gonna see what happens. He going out again. He probably going on another part store run. Like he, he said, uh, he actually didn't want to go through the trouble of unhooking the trailer and all that. So here it go out the gate, out the gate again. So don't get no more than true street than that. So.
right, so look, let's take in right quick before you go down. Now, what's the plan? Like, what changes you done made and all of that? That's all, um, I've been slinging a bit off every pack. That's a, that's a so we, we, old bit on, but my, um, my flywheel pulley can't lose. So I tighten it up, hopefully it'll stay on, but I'm going to shiver early to see if it'll stay on at least one pack. Gotcha. So we, we saw you go back out the gate. We caught you going back out the gate, so you headed to the park store again. Yes, sir. Right. And Two belts to see which one we're going to work. Gotcha. So he back again, y'all. Real street car. Hot I mean, making making crazy pass, so we're going to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> 